Hi there. Uh, I recently bought this. Uh, it's a Philips CD150 um, CD player. I bought it pretty cheap on eBay. Not working. Uh, not reading discs. So I thought I'd uh, just show you it and show you inside it as well. Um, I've just plugged a cable in. It didn't come with one, but I plugged a cable in and switched it on and it's lighting up. So that's a good sign. So I've already taken the screws out of the back, so show you the, what's in here. We have a, a rusty transformer. And this here is a pretty horrible mechanism. This is the Philips CDM2. And these are not very good. Um, CDM4 is, uh, is much better than this. But these are go faulty quite a lot so that's probably the problem with that somewhere whether it's worth repairing or not i don't know because i didn't pay a lot for this and i know that cdm2 is probably going to be about the same as what i paid for this so i, I don't know but these uh, cd players these cd150s are quite good um, i didn't get a remote control with it um, but, I mean, although they're very, very cheap and plasticky, nothing like the CD104, very cheap and plasticky, but look at the main board here. If you can see that, you've got the SAA7030 digital filter, and bingo, you've got two TDA 1540Ps, and here you have the SAA7010, so it's all, so it's, yeah, this is a, but you see it's um, the same sort of chipset as um, you're going to find, oh, there we go, SAA 7000, that's the uh, CEM chip. Um, so yeah, it's the same chipset as the CD104s and all the, the good old CDs, so this can be modified for a non oversampling mod it can accept my uh, reclocking mod as well and there's no reason why it shouldn't sound superb but anyway this is this needs some work because it definitely isn't working anyway to open the drawer you press uh, you think that's a button but it's not you press the stop button and it's sticking a bit there see but a bit of a nudge it probably needs a new belt or oiling or something anyway this is a Tayo Uden's test CD it's got some files in it press stop start again right let's have a look error ER reads very quickly these much quicker than the CD 104 um, so try and press play nothing error I open it again stick in again right I try pressing uh, let's see if I go select say oh you've got a you see that there's a something out on the there's a, a line out on the display here this line here is out on the display so add to my delight all right um, I press play here see if it'll go to number 12 i don't think it will i mean the cd is spinning but no error so there's some problem there i need to check now whether there is um, a laser light showing up it's quite difficult with this top on here so i have to remove that check and sight whether there's any laser coming up if there's no laser it's either the um Either the diode's gone, laser diode has gone, or there's no supply to it. And that would point to the power supply here somewhere. Downloaded the service manual for this. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time now and see if I can restore this. And I'll put all my comments in the um, comments below uh, under this, underneath this video so that you can see exactly what I did to it and how I sorted it out. Or if I can sort it out if it's worth it. Thanks very much for watching.